Guide Us TV presents Young Talent. Rabbi Shrahli Sadri wa Yassirli Amri. Wahlu Lurkodata Melisani Yafkahu Kauli. O my Lord, open for me my heart. Ease for me my task and remove the impediment from my speech so that they may understand what I say. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Guide Us TV. This is your sister Maria Masood La. Today I will recite and talk about Surah Yasin. Subhanallah, there are many virtues of reading Surah Yasin. Of them, the most authentic one, where Hassan al-Basri narrated from Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever reads Surah Yasin in any night for the sake of Allah, all of his sins will be forgiven. In another hadith, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Surah Yasin is the heart of the Quran. Although the chain of this hadith was not verified. Now I will recite some beautiful verses from Surah Yasin. <laughs> Yasin Wal Quran al Hakim Inna Kalamin al Mursalin Ala Siratim Mustaqim Tanzil al Aziz لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أولالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مقمحون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأوشيناهم فهم لا يبصرون وسواء وكل شيء أحصيناه في إمام مبين واضرب لهم مثلا أصحاب القرية إذ جاءها المرسلون إذ أرسلنا إليهم اثنين فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث فقالوا فقالوا إنا إليه 
فيكم مرسلون قالوا ما أنتم إلا بشر مثلنا وما أنزل الرحمن من شيء إن أنتم إلا تكذبون قالوا قالوا طائركم معكم إن ذكرتم بل أنتم قوم مسرفون وجاء من أقصى المدينة رجل يسعى قال يا قوم اتبعوا المرسلين اتبعوا من لا يسألكم أجرا وهم مهتدون وما لي لا أعبد الذي فطرني وإليه ترجعون أأتخذ من recited. Surah Yasin starts with the two letters, Ya and Sin. These letters are one of the miracles of the Quran. And none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone knows their true meanings. Some scholars interpret these letters to be Ya in San in order to address the mankind. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing by the Qur'an, which is full of wisdom, that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is one of the messengers. He is committed to the straight path. In verse 8 and 9, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing the situation of the heedless people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a shackles around their neck. He has put a barrier in front of them and a barrier behind them. And also covered them up so that they cannot see. Which means neither can they benefit from this world full of Allah's signs that they can see. Nor can they benefit from the lessons of history that they're supposed to learn. Even their eyes are covered from the reality. It is said, at the night of Hijra, when the house of Prophet Muhammad was surrounded by the kuffar, he recited verse 9 from Surah Yasin and blindfolded all the disbelievers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability 
to read and understand the Quran. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk, jazakallahu khairan wa assalamu alaikum. Young talent.